How do you use telemetry analysis software to make you a faster driver? That's what we're going to discuss in this video. If you're new to telemetry, you may have heard about traces or histograms or seen videos comparing you to a world-class driver and wonder, are these going to help you and where should you start? We're going to simplify things and explain the first steps to using a telemetry tool to make you a faster driver. So let's get started. Consistency. Consistency is what will win your races and will make sure that you are finishing as far up the grid as possible. So if you look at a lap time of someone who's beaten you in a race, and maybe they won the race or maybe they were 10 or 20 seconds ahead of you uh, in the race, their lap time, their fastest lap time, might not actually be that much quicker than your fastest lap time. So you might be thinking, well, they're not really that much faster, but they're ahead of me at the end of the race by 10, 15, 20 seconds. They're consistently doing that lap time. And that's where you can gain time. You can make sure that you're maximizing your lap times to do your best lap every single lap. You must be able to run the same lap times over and over within about a tenth of a second. If you look at the guys who are winning races or finishing up near the top, they're running the same lap times every single lap for the whole race. And that's what you want to do to be able to finish as far up the grid as you possibly can. So if you look at your fastest lap time, and it is about a second or so faster than your average lap time, that means that you could be going quicker by up to a second every single lap. Or if it's just half a second faster, you could be going half a second quicker every single lap. And over the race, that will add up, and you'll finish 10, 20, 30 seconds farther down the road than what you're doing right now. So, how do you make sure that you are maximizing your lap time and getting that fastest lap, or as close to it as possible, every single lap? Well, there are a couple of things you don't want to do. You do not want to change the setup in the car. Because if you do, and you go faster the next lap, you won't know if it's because you went faster because you drove a better lap, or because of the setup change. So, until you can drive that lap every single time within a tenth of a second, don't change the car in any way. Just go out and drive and make sure that you, the driver, are doing as well as you can. The next thing is, don't compare yourself to a driver who is really quick. It's not going to get you anything, because they are doing things much faster than you are, and you're not going to make a huge jump that quickly. You want to compare yourself to you. You want to compare yourself to your fastest lap and your average lap. And then you can see in your fastest lap, what are you doing that you're not doing in an average lap that gets you to be quicker. And then all you have to do is do that every single lap. And so after you know what that is, you can go out in a session and practice doing that. And you'll be quicker right away just because you'll remember, OK, in turn one, I should break a bit earlier or a bit later or turn in a bit sooner or whatever it is and you'll be quicker every single time. The Z1 Analyzer can help you do all this. It has a lot of analysis screens that show you your driving line, they show you your brake points, your speed and turn analysis. You can use all these to figure out your fast lap and your average lap and where you can go faster in the average lap to consistently hit that fast lap time. So we have other videos out which explain the driving line of the Z1 Analyzer analysis screens. And I'll link that in the video description below. And also the breakpoint video, which I'll link that in the description below as well. And watch both of those videos because they explain in great detail how the analysis screens show you your driving line along with the track edges and how they show you your breakpoints and where you could break either later or sooner and how you're doing compared to the fast comparison lab. OK, so once you've done this and you've compared yourself to your best lap, and you can go out there and you can practice driving your best lap every single time within a tenth or two tenths, that is your first goal. Now, the next time you race at that track, you're going to be farther up the field during the race because you're doing a half second or possibly a second a lap faster every lap just because you're maximizing what you can do. So what do you do now? The next step is to find a lap in the Z1 Analyzer 
that is about a second faster than what you're currently able to do. Uh, make sure it's the same car and the same weather conditions, and then download that person's lap and compare their lap to your fastest lap. And you'll be able to see where they're going a bit quicker. And it's not going to be a lot. It's going to be a few tenths in each turn. Maybe they take a slightly different line. Maybe they break a little bit earlier or a little bit later than you. In the same way, when you compared your average lap to your fastest lap, you were able to make these small gains and do it every lap so that you were consistently able to do your fastest lap. So after you look at this other person's lap, who's maybe a second faster than you, you can see how they're driving to go that little bit quicker. And you will eventually improve and become a bit faster and consistent, and you'll have beaten your fast lap, and you'll consistently beat your fast lap. This is the uh, Z1 Analyzer Select Lap Dialog. And for this example, I'm going to pretend I'm driving the Corvette C7 prototype, and I'm at the Daytona International Road Course uh, configuration. So you can scroll through this uh, to find a lap time that's a little bit quicker than you are. And then once you do, um, that's the one that you should download to compare yourself against. So let's say you're able to do a 139. And you've never really been able to get faster, but you can consistently do a 139. So I'm going to look for a lap which is about 138 and compare myself to that. So perhaps I'll choose this one. I'll download that. I'll load my best lap. And then I'll be able to compare in the analyzer using the analysis screens to see which um, parts of the lap that driver is faster than me. Are they faster in going into return, coming out of return? Do they take a slightly better line? And just like you would with your lap, with this one, you'll figure out how to be quicker and how to consistently get up there and do the lap time, or at least faster than your best lap time, by looking at someone who's just a bit quicker. Uh, and as I mentioned before, you don't want to go comparing yourself to like a world champion or someone who's three or four seconds a lap quicker, because that's not going to help you. You want to find someone who's just half a second or a second faster than you, because that's where you'll be able to actually see what they're doing, and you'll be able to replicate what they do when you go out there and drive. So now you're consistent, and you're going faster than you were before, and you're doing it every single lap. So that's great. Now it's time to start looking at the setup. What can you do in the setup to make the car turn in faster, or make it able to get on the power sooner, or go that little bit faster through the turn? Because those are the next step that's going to get you closer to the people who are really at the front. And like I said before, you don't want to start this whole process off by just downloading a video of someone who is doing a lap like three or four seconds faster than you because it's not going to help you at all. You want to start with yourself, your best lap, make slow increments to consistently hit that, then go up to someone who's a bit faster, and then start making setup changes. If you do that, you will be consistently faster all the time, and you'll understand why you're going quicker. So, Make sure you use the Z1 Analyzer to help you determine how you can be a better, more consistent driver as the first thing you do. So that's it for this video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we will have more videos on this channel about how you can use the Z1 software to become a faster driver, to help you during the races, and many other things.